Hello, and welcome everyone to this first podcast. In this podcast, I'm just going to introduce some terms that are going to be important for the next uh, few podcasts as we start to describe chromosomal mutations. I'd like to take us back, though, just a little bit to kind of have a little perspective of where we've been and where we're going for the rest of the course. So if you remember, we began the semester talking about nucleotides. We talked about how those strung together to form our DNA. And we talked about a lot of characteristics of DNA, but these included things like how it was replicated and how it could be turned into RNA. And then how this RNA could be turned into proteins. And it is this protein that gives us our traits. And we also talked about some exceptions where RNA was the actual end product of, of this pathway. But essentially this process here allows an organism to look and behave a certain way. More recently, we talked about how this DNA is copied. To copy the DNA. And how that can lead to, or will lead to, new cells. And sometimes we want this cell to be identical, as is the case in, in mitosis, or we want it to have some degree of variation, as we see in meiosis. We've talked in general terms about these different pathways and what would happen if you mutated certain things or certain genes that encoded certain enzymes, but we really haven't talked about mutations yet and what they are and how they're caused. And, and so for the most part, we've been really focusing on what is supposed to happen and how it's supposed to work. But now I'd like to focus on, for the next several podcasts and, and certainly before our next exam, focus on mutations and how mutations affect this whole process. These mutations can take one of several forms. These mutations can occur in different ways. They can occur at the DNA level. And we'll talk about that in a different set of podcasts. What we're going to talk about in this podcast and the rest of our podcast is this next level. And, that is, and these include our chromosomal mutations. Regardless of the mutation that we're talking about, different things can happen. The first, and, and probably most common, is nothing. Right? A lot of mutations result in no, no problem at all. So no mutate, no, no, no change. We've changed the DNA level or we've changed the chromosomal structure in some way, but in the end, no change. It can lead to a non functional protein or RNA. It can lead to a new function, these mutations. And if these new functions have some sort of selective advantage, meaning that a new functioning gene gives that organism some sort of mating advantage where they're able to pass their genes on more effectively, then this can help direct evolution. We're going to focus on the chromosomal leveled mutations now. And in the next several podcasts, this is what we'll cover. The, the chromosomal mutations can fall into one of two categories. A change in chromosomal structure. These can include one of four different categories, and we'll talk about these all. Deletion in the chromosome, and duplication in the chromosome. The next podcast will focus on these two chromosomal changes. Then the next podcast, following that one, will focus on inversions. which really means taking a part of the, the DNA and flipping it around so it's in, in the reverse direction. And then translocations. Next we'll talk about the other class of chromosomal mutations and that is changes 
in the number. of chromosomes. This will include aneuploid, which means a cell that has lost or gained a single chromosome, which in contrast, polyploids, shown here, is when you increase the chromosomal content by one fold. So that would be if you were a diploid and you had two chromosomes of every two copies of every chromosome, this would then create a, th a triploid having three copies of every chromosome. Whereas the aneuploid is just 2n plus or minus 1. So you go from 46 chromosomes in humans to either 45 if you lost one or 47 if you gained one. But we'll talk more about that um, in a few podcasts. All right, that's all I had for this introductory podcast. I'm not, there's not going to be a summary for this because it was a pretty short podcast. It was just to introduce you to what we're going to talk about next. And the next podcast will be on deletions and duplications. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. See you in class. Bye.